think what I got into art probably just as soon as I realized anything creative was possible. Like a moment I don't think whenever I was like, I should try making art or anything like that. I just feel like it was always something that was a part of my kind of makeup, you know. Right around the time that the pandemic started, artists were the first ones to really take a hit and musicians, um, all the venues that all of us were able to use as outlets for our creativity were getting shut down. So. I just thought we needed a place to congregate so we weren't like losing our heads, you know, because everybody had that need to put out. Every month we change the themes out <clears throat> and the artists have about three weeks to digest the theme and produce a piece of work that's appropriate to the theme, their, their interpretation of it. Have an open mic here once or twice a month and it's a place where artists come and hang out and I mean, we jam music, talk about ideas, share the uh, work that we're working on. And it's just a community. I think we want to just apply ourselves as a, as a creative force in this community, uh, making art accessible to uh, non-creatives. You know, a lot of times the gallery atmosphere can feel stuffy and we're trying to kind of ease that that feeling. The collective's just a, a way to build an art community of, of creators and appreciators. You know, that's really what we're trying to do. I think we've got a, a special thing going on here, you know. I think it's something that people have been able to embrace and seen a lot of growth in artists. We've introduced a lot of people to art. We've reconnected people with their art, people who have kind of drifted away from being creative and have, because of the lack of an outlet or a lack of a space, they just kind of let it go. Um, so I think that that's a special thing that we've got going on here.